<laughs> Should I be wearing one too? <laughs> I'm Liz Stokes from The Bits, and I am at home in Auckland, New Zealand. We're just under two weeks into Elite Level 2. We moved back into our little studio last week, and we've been doing lots of planning for album release stuff. I'm gonna have a chat to my old friend, Chelsea, who's in LA, where things are quite different, so hopefully She's doing okay. Hi, Chelsea Jade here, um, transmitting from my studio apartment in Los Angeles, California, where I've been based for the past four years. It's been like 12 weeks of this ongoing self-imposed slash pandemic-imposed lockdown. I've put out a music video in this time, which I've celebrated and lamented in quick succession. I was hoping to go on tour right after that uh, was released, but that doesn't exist anymore. So luckily, New Zealand has it under control. So thank you guys for developing a little beacon of hope for the rest of us. It really is comforting. <laughs> we used to live together and that was my favorite thing you brought to the table, the crab. <laughs> How are you sitting like emotionally, like day to day? Do you feel quite like level or are you going up and down? My mental health, it sucks in the morning and by the evening it's, I'm fine and I'm having a good time. All right, that's good to hear. You've placed, I see, my vinyl, two of my vinyl, and and, <laughs> and you're wearing a shirt. Wow. Big, huge fan. Very proud. <laughs> These are my friends. <laughs> I would have returned the favor, but I'm in the Joan zone. This being Joan and, and Joan being over there, I'm in Joan's house, so I don't have access to my Beth's memorabilia. Is Joan's the um, just a really angry dog? Yeah. <laughs> Trying to get her on side through slow a slow process. It's kind of like Goodwill Hunting. She's Matt Damon. I'm Robin Williams. I haven't seen it, but um, <laughs> oh my god! <laughs> but you are you are such a Robin. <laughs> oh man. I remember that we were in the same guitar group in high school. You were third form and I was fourth form, I believe. And you obviously flourished in the guitar class. <laughs> <laughs> obviously. I found you and I found that I no longer had to learn guitar because you could play it. <laughs> it's been a while, 15 years ago, I guess? I know, that's scary, huh? It's more, it's like three years shy of 20. No. I, <laughs> I mean, the story we've been telling for years, because it's true, is that we would get together every Friday night. <laughs> and use my parents' way. Skype headset to um, re-record albums we liked. <laughs> yeah, we, our, our recording career started early and started strong. Let's, let's go through a little gear rundown. Yeah, we were using um, an acoustic guitar that uh, we took from school that I think it's cracked on one side um, and we'd kind of like put the headset over the guitar with the, um, with the microphone <laughs> vaguely over the sound hole. When we weren't recreating uh, albums we liked, we were busking at the local shopping mall. Ah, good times. That's where, we, that's where we really cut our teeth. I think we made 20 bucks each time. Those are the days. between two states on the borderline. Those are slow intake. They don't let much in. I don't let much out. 
Just a broken ball Flickering without Would you tell anything to your uh, 15 years ago self? Oof. Man, I feel like I should tell stuff to my year ago self. Like, <laughs> I'm always mad at my past self. Ooh, that could be an album title. <laughs> <laughs> all the time mm, it happens all the time wanna move I do I do I do trying to get this right I'm losing the appetite it's not the way I choose I think it's just like I wish that I was more okay with myself always got it I think that's fair. Yeah. What about you? I wish that I was more confident, I think. I, I, I just remember in my mind, I was like, there are people that can do things and that can get things done. You were just like, you were figuring things out in just like the, a, a proactive way. And I kind of had to figure that out later that like, oh, if you want to do something, you just have to learn how to do it and then, and then you do it. I learned, I feel like I learned that by watching you like start your own project and like mold it into the thing that you obviously had in your head. So that was really inspiring. Wanna move, I do, I do, I do. Trying to get this right. I'm losing the appetite. It's not the way I choose, I choose, I choose. Always caught in between The ache and the apathy Staring up at the stars at night I know the light is so behind the times The more I live in the world I find Seclusions pleasing sad You've always been the best songwriter I know, and like it's so cool that other people are finally figuring that out. It's not the way I choose, I choose, I choose. Always caught in between, always caught in between. Are we back on the record? <laughs> oh, yeah, I guess so. I guess we're back on the record. Switch everything back on, on gang. Oh, should we take it from the top? So you had your birthday while in, is it lockdown over there? What's the, what are people calling it? I guess we're calling it quarantine. First, like at least month, no one was out. It, it, although I will say that I'm in an area that is extremely condensed and it's a lower income area. And uh, just like the discrepancy in council involvement in this area, it was just like quite bleak actually. Something that's really jarring is the fact that there are like massive light up uh, signs around this neighborhood that say high risk area. Yeah, it's high risk because like you don't take care of people here. That's the thing is that as, as much as it's like everything's ruined for everybody, it's like I know that we're luckier than other people in other situations. You're coming in hot but not so bright Making a meal of any appetite Just take it easy If I held you up against the light I could see clear enough to cut right To where you're weakest And I can tell that You Wanna laugh it off but you're lazy And I've been trying to make amends with you lately But you're difficult to reason with then maybe just maybe Want my chance to keep it even On the light side of feeling I'm not going into grieving For you, for you, for you So I'm just gonna laugh it off I was 
about to go on tour with Ali X, and I had lined up music releases and stuff, but everything's kind of been a little bit pushed, pushed to the side. But on the level of creation, it's basically the same. Laying in repose in absolute, uh, like g giving in to, to, to the fact that you, you can't think of a good lyric, that's the same. <laughs> But this is crazy You make it seem like I'm the one who's being shady When your love is in the liminal It may be Just maybe Want my chance to keep it even On the light side of feeling I'm not going into grieving for you What about you? Well, I feel like I haven't been productive musically, I guess. On the light side of feeling. Our record's coming out in July, and when we handed it in at the start of March, there was a period of, like, maybe two days where we were like, are we going to push it back? Are we going to, like, postpone it? It doesn't look like touring's going to happen, and that's how we make money, and that's also just how we, I guess, self-actualise, I guess, as, as a live band. And so without that, it's like, uh, okay, what does this look like? What does it look like to release an album with no playing around it? But yeah, we decided to just push ahead with Sora and we've been doing these like live streams and things, which has been, you know, <laughs> something <laughs> that you kind of have to do. I'm glad you're safe and in, indoors. And thanks. You know, um, you know, I worry about you, <laughs> but you know, I also know that you're smart and safe, you know you'll be fine. But you know, if you never need anything, thanks, Liz. You too. If you did want to come back to New Zealand, you know, we've got a we've got a, a very nice couch. I love you, Liz. Love you too, and uh, see you soon. I guess. Yeah. I'll see you. Bye. Okay, love you. Bye-bye. Love you.